domain this is rasin the other endowment number is 707 164 program b takes csc for semester now the topic that is sent to me is con analog to digital conversion first i want to define what is analog signal now analog signal is the continuous wave and change over the time period and its value changes by changing the time period now analog signal represents the sine wave and its data is transmitted in the form of wave now this diagram represents the analog signal in the x-axis time is given and in the y-axis its value is given now when the when time is changed its value is also changed now there is another type of signal digital signal and this signal is the discrete wave and that carries information in the form of binary form and it represents the square waves now digital signal carries data in the form of binary form and that is either 0 or 1 and 0, zero represent off and 1 represent on now this diagram represents the digital signal now analog to digital conversion now analog to digital conversion is the process of converting analog voltage into the equivalent digital digital signal means the wave is converted into either 0 or 1 and this is known as the analog to digital conversion there is a different way to convert analog to digital conversions and they are listed below simultaneous conversion converter method continuous elastic conversion dual slot elastic conversion and the simplest one is the simultaneous conversions now continuous elastic converter and con simultaneous conversion is also known as the flash tag or elastic converter now continuous slash is slash d converter a slash means analog to digital converter now this method is used to speed up the conversion of the signal and in converter method the data is weak the signal is weak and that's why this method is used now if this were done the counter would begin at zero each time would not begin at each time but instead it would begin at the value of the last converter point but in the converter method its value is started from zero every time now this means the counter would have the capable counting either off or down and we must decide it whether to count off or down by examining the output of the comparator means count off or down that depends upon the output of the comparator now now an analog to digital converter which use uses an off and down counter is shown in the figure now this method is also known as the continuous because its value is not start every time every time from zero and that's why it's known as the continuous conversion now this diagram represents the analog to digital conversion now the output of the ladder is fit into the comparator which has two output instead of one as begin before one and we have wings and converter converter method there is only one output in the comparator but in the continuous method there is two output one off and another is down now when the analog voltage is more positive means analog voltage is more negative greater than the ladder output then the off output of the comparator is high means off output of the comparator is high and when the analog voltage is more negative then the ladder output is down and notice that the end gate which controls the count off has input of off and down complement now similarly when the countdown lines hit has inputs of down and off complement and this could be considered as the exclusive or hit arrangement and ensure that count down and count off line can't down be at the same time now this is the important point this represents some count of down and count off line can't both be the high at the same time as long as the off line of line out of the comparator is high the con the converter continues operate only one conversion cycle at a time at point where the ladder voltage and the line of the comparator goes go and down line goes high and the converter then goes to the converter down line. Oh, thank you